Welcome, anime fans. I'm Anime Outlet. What if Deku was born with one for all? Part 2. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. Um, people are currently mowing my lawn, so... If there's a lingering sound in the background, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that I'm not fully focusing on YouTube, as right now, I basically just started practicing drawing a lot, so if I don't upload, it's probably because I'm drawing trying to practice. Now, where I left off is Zuku and All Might just beat the Nomu doing a um, duo 9th, 8th user, once for all, smash on the Nomu. And that sent it flying through the ceiling of the USJ. Now, a couple weeks pass as Zuku comes back to UA to hear that they will be doing the sports festival tomorrow. Now, they all go home having the day off after that as Zuku tries to calm himself down to get ready for the sports festival. Now, he continues to try and calm himself down as the next day comes. Now, once he gets inside of Class 1A, Aizawa hands the class uniforms to put on to do the sports festival. Tsuku puts it on as he gets ready to he gets ready to compete. Once they walk out, Midnight announces that the first event will be a race. Everyone lines up as Izuku gets into a running position. Now, once President Mike yells go, Izuku immediately runs off as the kids are left behind in a cloud of dust from how fast Zuku moved. When he got to the three zero pointers, he jumped off the sides of them and flung himself farther across the track. This would end up landing him first place. Now, he would end up getting first place as he now has. He ends up getting first place as. The next event is announced to be the Cavalry Battle. And I would just like to say before we do get any further in this video, as soon as I hit 3,000 subscribers, I will most likely try and figure out another type of live stream and maybe get some of you guys up on a Discord chat in there as well. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work as I don't have a PC. I have a Chromebook, so I might have to borrow my brothers to stream, but um, that shouldn't really matter too much. Now, getting back into it, the Cavalry Battle is announced, with Izuku having 10 million points. Everyone looks at him just with the... They just look at him as if he's a target now, as they all get ready to go after him. Izuku somehow manages to get a team of Uraraka, um, what's his name, Tamaki, the bird guy, and Mei Hatsume. Now, the same thing goes wrong as in canon, where the, where the boot gets stuck, as Izuku was able to power through it and break the boot as they were able to escape. Thanks to Izuku's quick thinking, they got first place. This is going to be another 10 minute video. Sorry guys. Um, because my dad wants me to go outside and do some work. And I don't really have the time to do a full 20 minute, but I'll try to do a full 20 minute tomorrow. Sorry for not having an accurate schedule. But, the Izuku ends up getting first place as the third and final event is announced to be the 1v1 tournament. Since it is now time for the 1v1 tournament, 
Isuku is paired up with Shinso to verse each other. They walk up on to the battlefield as Isuku gets into a fighting stance as Shinso tries to talk Izuku out and try and make him say something. But before the match even started, Isuku heard from Ojiro that he should not reply to him as that might cause him to lose the match as he has some type of brainwashing quirk. Suku thanked Ojiro as he went to get onto the battlefield, and that's where it leads up to where we are now. Izuku again gets into a fighting position as Shinzo continues to try and brainwash Izuku, but nothing works. As Izuku who goes into 5% full cow and rushes towards Shinzo and punches him across the face as he's now standing over Shinzo. As he just looks down upon him, says, you should have trained your body and your cork instead of making others pity you because of your cork. If you always think your cork's villainous, you're not going to get anywhere. As Izuku kicks Shinso into a wall, giving Izuku first place. After this, Izuku has a match with Todoroki. Now Izuku and Todoroki both get into a fighting stance as Todoroki tells Izuku that he's going to beat him with only 50% of his power being only using his mother's cork. Izuku just laughs and says, if you think you can beat me with only 50% of your cork, that's just funny. I can beat you with only 10% of my cork. If you would have used and trained your fire, you could be so much stronger than you are now. As the match begins, Izuku launches towards Todoroki, who launches a huge iceberg right at Izuku. Now, Izuku dodges this and punches Todoroki into the ground as Izuku puts a foot over Todoroki, making him not be able to stand up. As Izuku looks down on Shinso, just like he did, or looks down on Todoroki, just like he did to Shinso. After this, Izuku goes for a kick to kick Todoroki, only to be blocked by ice. Izuku then says, This is the perfect time to use your fire, Todoroki. It's not his quirk, it's yours. At that moment, Todoroki. Todoroki knew what had happened and, and he erupted in flames. He goes, he sends a tornado of fire at Izuku only to have Izuku punch right through it and punch him straight into a wall as Izuku just laughs and says, Todoroki. You've only made me go 15%. Nobody in this school is worthy of my full power. As Izuku walks off, looking like a comp looking like a villain who just had my full potential. It's like um Kai thinking he's the green ninja from Ninjago. That's just not gonna happen, never happened, but, um, so the final match is said to be Izuku versus Bakugo. Bakugo still wanting to get revenge on Izuku for Izuku supposedly beating him in a match very quickly. So as soon as they lined up and Midnight yelled go, Bakugo sprang into action and fired huge explosions behind him saying i'm gonna kill you daku as he tries to throw an explosion right at izuku only for izuku to dodge it and flick basically if you've seen the new arc in my hero academia where izuku's verse gentle he basically just does that but with like a flick without the glove basically something like that Basically, how Izuku beat Todoroki, or tried to beat Todoroki in the sports festival in canon. Izuku just measly flicks 
the explosion out of the way and continues to flick Bakugo's explosions away without even trying. Bakugo gets mad at this and says, this is my final attack, AP shot, as he sends a very, he sends a huge shot right at Izuku, who takes the blast head on, as Izuku just grabs his chest and says, wow, Bakugo, that would have killed any normal person. How low have you become? If you would have done that to Uraraka, you would have killed her. Now, you lose. As Suku flicks Bakugo right out of the arena. And that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys. Sorry for not doing another 20-minute video. Time is uh, um, very squished at the moment. So, I thank you all for watching, and goodbye.